Here's everything that's coming up on today's San Francisco 49ers report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr., and no matter where you are, how you're tuned in, I appreciate you for making today's show a part of your day. And it's a very busy day here on the Niners report. Tune into the show a little bit later. Niners' initial 53-man roster going to be set a little bit later this afternoon as all teams across the NFL have to cut their rosters down to 53 players by 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific. As for the stories that we're getting into on this edition of the 49ers Report, we have a brand new Trent Williams update from a respected NFL insider. We're going to go through all of the cuts that San Francisco has made so far. And Steve Young, Bill Belichick, sharing some interesting thoughts about the Brandon Ayuk situation. I first want to start off by saying thank you to the faithful. Yesterday, we surpassed 137,000 subscribers, and during last night's show, we picked up 140 new subscribers. Can we beat that number here today? 150? Sounds good to me. If you're looking for Niners shows on the daily basis, year-round, this is your go-to spot and your go-to destination right here on YouTube. Hit that sub button. This is the 49ers Report with Chase Sr. As for the latest around Trent Williams, Josina Anderson, NFL insider, citing league sources who told her that Trent Williams wants to, quote, get paid, paid, and he is not messing around as he looks for a new contract, guaranteed money. We're not really sure what Trent Williams is looking for. What we do know is... He continues to hold out, and it seems as though that's going to continue until he gets his bag. Here's more from Josina Anderson here. League sources stated they're hearing Trent Williams wants to get paid paid. The translation here, he wants legitimate cash, like the very important piece that he is. And let's be real, Trent Williams is a very important piece. Josina Anderson continues by saying, another league source also added this morning, quote, San Francisco is between a real rock and a hard place because Trent is not playing around. Something may have to give unless you're allowing for big adjustments next year. A lot of people are confused about this, and I get it. It's been pretty complex. And while Brandon Ayuk has stolen all of the marquee storylines, this continues to be a massive story because Trent Williams is more important to the Niners' offense, protecting the blind side to Brock Purdy, and he impacts the pass run game as compared to Brandon Ayuk. So from Trent Williams' standpoint, he's 36 years old. He's still an elite left tackle. Outside of quarterback, you can make the argument left tackle is the most important position on a football team, and you can make the argument Trent Williams is the best at his position in the NFL. He does have three more years left on his contract, but none of that money is guaranteed. And just like the wide receiver market has reset and it's exploded multiple times this offseason, the offensive tackle market has also reset. More on that in a moment. And now Trent Williams, from his standpoint, is now underpaid as compared to his counterparts at the offensive tackle position. And we're talking left tackle and right tackle when it comes to that subject. And this might be Trent Williams' last chance to cash in. He's 36 years old. He is a multi-time and perennial all-pro and Pro Bowl level player. But father time is undefeated. And if you look throughout the course of NFL history, some of the best offensive tackles of all time have been able to sustain a high level of play deep into their 30s, into their early 40s. And if there's anybody who can do that, it's Trent Williams. He's physical. He is still driving defenders into the grass and pancaking dudes left and right. He is still very mobile. He's very physical. And he is an unbelievable athlete. But from his point of view, this is probably the last big contract that he can get. And he knows that the Niners need him. He knows that this Niners offensive line outside of him has a lot of question marks. And he understands, and he knows that the Niners know, they are not Super Bowl contenders if Trent Williams isn't serving as the anchor at left tackle. Trent Williams' remaining contract, according to Over the Cap, as far as his base salary and his cap hits. This upcoming year, he has a base salary of $20 million. A cap hit, checking in at $10 million. Next year in 2025, 
base salary of 22 and a half, a cap hit of $34.1 million. In 2026, base salary of 32.2 and a cap hit of 37.7. The Niners has a way to create cap space over the last couple of years. They've kind of pushed that contract down the road with some restructures and other financial gymnastics. The question that I have, this is a lot of money here. Can the Niners just guarantee the remainder of his deal knowing they signed him to that contract extension? They knew that when they offered him that deal, you don't have to give him an extension on top of this, if you guarantee him that money, is he going to be okay with that? Or, going back to what Josina Anderson reported, if he wants to get paid, paid, you look at the base salary and the cap pits here, Trent Williams is now the sixth highest paid offensive tackle in the National Football League. And you know that saying, you are worth what somebody is willing to pay you. And I get it. He signed that deal. He should have to play out the remainder of that contract because he signed that deal. But what happened earlier in the spring? Christian McCaffrey had no more guaranteed money left on his deal. The Niners gave him an extension, a lot of guaranteed money, and he once again reset the running back market. This was after McCaffrey won NFL Offensive Player of the Year and was top five in MVP voting. From Trent Williams' standpoint, he's looking at the rest of these offensive tackles on your screen, and he's saying, in average annual value, I am lower than Andrew Thomas, Laramie Tunsil, Christian Derisaw, Penn Asel, and Tristan Wirfs. Yet, I am better than all of those players. I want to reset the offensive tackle market once again because I want to be paid what I'm worth. And the production that I've had points to me being underpaid right now. In professional sports, you have to understand, these athletes are alphas. These athletes are very, very competitive. And they want to be paid what they are worth when you compare their salaries to their counterparts. Because bragging rights are a real thing, especially when it comes down to player salaries in professional sports. So again, is Trent Williams looking for a contract extension? Is he looking for guaranteed money? Is he looking for something else as part of this contract? We don't know, but Trent Williams right now, from his standpoint, probably underpaid number one and his last opportunity to cash in. So that is story number one here on the Niners Report. Still coming up. Going to go through all of the cuts that have happened with San Francisco's roster. And then Steve Young and Bill Belichick sharing their thoughts on Brandon Ayuk. First, let's give a shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. This weekend, as it's pretty much the final break before the start of the NFL season, I am going to Las Vegas to check out LSU-USC in a great college football game. Top 25 matchup at Allegiant Stadium. I just got my tickets yesterday, and you know what app I used? The Game Time app. You know what I said to myself? What time is it? Game Time. Also, best seats at the lowest price guaranteed. Prices drop as the event gets closer. And with that game taking place on Sunday, prices were too good to pass up on. And that is the game time experience. Last minute tickets and flash deals. Views from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. And you're guaranteed on the game time app to get the lowest price guaranteed as compared to all of the other ticketing apps in the marketplace. If you don't want to go to a sporting event, Concerts, comedy shows, theater events, and more. So download the app for free, create an account, use the code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. And if you want to go to a Niners game this year, still tickets available for Jets Niners. Opening night on Monday Night Football Week 1. You can get those tickets as well. San Francisco Giants tickets also available on the Game Time app. But like I said, it is not just limited to sporting events. We're going to put all that information down below in the show notes and attached to the pinned comment of today's San Francisco 49ers report. As compared to other teams across the NFL, the Niners, 
I know they're operating on a Pacific time schedule. They just haven't made as many moves as other teams across the NFL. They did release Matt Breida, the running back, in addition to Keyshawn Vaughn, the running back. They waived the punter, Presley Harvin. That tells me that Mitch Wisnowski's doing good coming off that knee arthritis. And then offensive lineman Lewis Kidd, waived. John Trey Kirkland, waived. NFL roster cut down day. All teams in the NFL have to cut their rosters down to 53 players by 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It was a 90-man roster. San Francisco making five of those moves, so still plenty of moves to come for San Francisco here in the lead-up to that deadline. I thought this was pretty interesting what Bill Belichick had to say about the Brandon Ayuk situation on the Pat McAfee show and what Niner great and Niner legend Steve Young said on KNBR. So let's react together, both of them sharing their thoughts and their views on the Ayuk contract dilemma. First, let's start off with Bill Belichick and what he had to say. In the end, is the little more money, however much more the extra money is, is that worth going to a team that isn't maybe at the same level of the San Francisco 49ers and doesn't give Ayuk the same opportunity to win as the Niners do. It's a decision you have to make as a player. You want to try to get as much as you can from the team you want to be with. If you're already on that team, then how much is it really worth by the time that you move, you pay your 50% tax, your millionaire's tax in New England, you got that one too, What's really the differential? Now, Bill Belichick is a very smart and savvy football mind, but for years, he was pretty much running the Patriots front office. So I think it's pretty interesting for him to share that insight. I know the California taxes are crazy, but the taxes in the New England area, as Bill Belichick noted, are also pretty high. And I've said this time and time again, Brandon Ayuk, I hope you're watching the show. Quality of life is really important. You can still make cheddar with the San Francisco 49ers. You can continue your rapport with Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan. You can play on a loaded offense, which will lead to a lot of open looks, and you can still have massive production. So you can win, which makes you happy, which is fun. You can continue to play with your quarterback, who you have a great rapport with. Kyle Shanahan is one of the best offensive minds. You have a great team with you, and you can continue to chase Super Bowls while making a lot of money. Bill Belichick kind of echoing that as well. And then there was this from Steve Young, which I thought was very notable and interesting as well. He said, like, bro, if you want to tear up the contract and do something big, then you might want to play on the fifth-year option, go out and prove it, and prove that you're one of the top wide receivers in the National Football League, and you're worth the price tag that you're coveting and wanting at 30 to $35 million. Or if you're going to ask to be traded, then when the 49ers make a trade that works for them, you got to say you're up for it. What did Ayuk do? Turn down the deal to New England. Turn down the deal to the Cleveland Browns. You can't have your cake and eat it too at all times. Steve Young then continued by saying, the agent has got to be able to figure out a way to bring that player to see the value other than the dollars, to see the context that there's a lot of great players out there that are playing with brutal teams that have no chance to see the full measure of who they can be as a player. And that's not you. We know that Brandon Ayuk loves to win. He said that himself after the Niners lost the Super Bowl to Kansas City. Brandon Ayuk, he was asked, what do you want to win? You can win with the San Francisco 49ers. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. And what's perplexing about this, in addition to how long it's taken, as we're recording this show on August 27th, if it was all about the money, Ayuk could have gone to New England. He could have gone to Cleveland. He clearly wants to come back to the San Francisco 49ers. What happened to the update from two weeks ago when Mike Garofolo and then last week Ari Mirov? They're both saying this deal has never been so close. They just have to iron out a couple of fine details on that contract. Get the deal done and shift your focus to week one and the 2024 campaign and let's chase this fucking Super Bowl. Give me a follow on X. Give me a follow on Instagram. You can see more rants on my social media pages. 
just get the deal done. It's clear that both sides want to continue this partnership. At Chase underscore Senior on both platforms, we'll be back later with the Niners' initial 53-man roster.